everybody, this is Mike with Metal Detecting North Carolina. Today I'm going to show you a short tutorial on how to set up and operate the uh, AT Pro, how to uh, pinpoint a target, and uh, how to recover the target out of the ground with the smallest hole possible. I do have the Z-Link with the MS3 headphones on this, but for the purpose of this instruction I have it disconnected. If you change coils, for example, I replaced a stock coil with the NEL Tornado coil. First thing you have to do is push and hold the button, the power button, and you hear the two beeps, and now it's factory reset. I just did a factory reset, and as you can see, it defaults to standard mode, which is your bell tone. Okay, I prefer pro mode, so I hit the the mode button, the power button, just push it until it goes to pro and I go to zero. So it's the that type of tone. It offers you better pinpointing accuracy. Okay, the iron discrimination, right now it defaults to zero. So I'm just going to raise that up to my preferred setting, which is about 33. Okay. And the sensitivity right here, I raise that all the way up to max because I want maximum depth. My batteries, I have one notch below full battery. This is your depth gauge right here that estimates about how deep your target is. And this is your um, scale and your number scale right here that will tell you what your target it thinks it is. You can go to notch discrimination right here if you know that this is a bottle cap and you can move this cursor over the bottle cap and then hit eliminate and it will open that notch up and you can do that as many times as you want but in this place I keep it all open okay and you push and hold ground balance and then you pump the, the coil up and down on the ground a few times and right here the ground balance is 80 okay so I'm detecting along looking for a high tone I found one it's an 80 81 and I just back it off until I lose the signal it's right at the tip of the coil so I pivot So I know it's right there and sometimes you can take your pinpointer and find it with the pinpointer and then you can just uh, pry it out of the ground with, with a hand shovel. In this case, it was a piece of tin. Next technique I'm going to show you. You got a high tone, and you push the pin pointer, and you'll notice this bar on the top will move. Then I back it off until. If you have to dig a plug, you just dig a circular plug around the target. Once you get good at pinpointing, you can make your holes a little bit smaller. And right there in the center of the hole, right there, let's see what it is. It's a piece of junk. 
but still the pinpointer found it right there in the middle of the hole and of course the last step to put all the dirt back in the hole flip the plug back over the way it was and pound the ground now you can't tell there was ever a hole I got a mid 80s tone and you can see it's about two to four inches deep so I'm going to extract this target and see what we got Here it is, right there. It's a quarter. State hood quarter, mid 80s tone. This is 85, 86. So I'm gonna verify. That's about where it is. Right here on the side. Here it is. It's another quarter. It looks like a statehood quarter. No, nope, it's a regular Eagle one. So, another quarter. Well, I just pulled another a wheat scent out of here, my first of the day. like a 39 the signal is kind of bouncy so I'm gonna check the hole again Got a ghost. Oh, there it is. It's another weedy. Um, let me rub that one on my pants. Forty-six and a thirty-nine. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Well, that appears to be it. All right, cool. Two weedies in one hole. Nice little coin spill. There's a nice crisp high tone. Eighty eighty one. Let's see what it is. It's either a clad dime or a weedy. There it is right there. That's a memorial.